I noticed that the resonation of the bell is a little stifled on Zoom. It tends to ring in its full glory when we're in person. And first, I just want us to arrive. And we can do that as a group by taking a few deep breaths together, where you're going to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. So let's inhale through your nose all together. Exhale through your mouth, blowing it out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, blowing it out. And drop those shoulders a little bit. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth, blowing it out. And just sit for a moment. One of the things I like to do at the beginning of a meditation, a group meditation, is to have us all listen. So what I want you to do is to listen as far away as you can. See what is the farthest sound that you can hear. So I'm going to listen myself. Now you've returned to your own natural breathing. And you're going to bring your focus and attention in the room where you are. So let's listen in. Can you hear anything in your immediate setting? Now let's bring that attention inside yourself. Just checking it out. Allowing thoughts to come if they do. And allowing thoughts to go on by. It's relaxing the shoulders. And feeling your body in the, the chair that you're in, or if you're lying down, feeling your body resting. Tuning in. Letting your jaw drop a little. Shoulders drop a little. Feel your back against the back of the chair or couch. Feeling your feet, the soles of your feet on the floor. Or if you're Lying prone, of course, just feeling your feet and your toes. Just bringing our presence of mind from external sounds to sounds that are closer to awareness inside of our own bodies. And we'll start with a brief body scan, 
where you're going to use your imagination to be present to and to relax different parts of your body. So starting with the top of the head, relaxing your skull. Relaxing your forehead. Just doing your own natural breathing pattern now. Relaxing your jaw, your ears, your chin your mouth, your tongue, your eyes should be breathing pretty gently now. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. You might have to lift them, let them drop. Relax your arms, your elbows. Relax your forearms, your wrists, your hands, and your fingers. Relaxing your shoulders going down into your chest. Relaxing your stomach. Relaxing your upper back, middle back, lower back. And if you're finding any tension in any part of your body, bring presence there, bring attention there. And relax if you're able to do so. If you should ever feel any discomfort, you can just return to your focus on the breath. So we're going back to the shoulders, relaxing the chest, relaxing the stomach, relaxing the spine, moving down into the pelvic cradle. Relaxing your buttocks, relaxing your thighs, relaxing your knees, your legs, calves, ankles, shins, relaxing your feet, relaxing your toes, relaxing the soles of your feet. Just see what that just feels like, just bringing intended presence to your own body, being a friend to your own body, being present with your own body, not trying to change anything or alter anything. Just being with. And in this meditation, as a precursor to our conversation about mindfulness and compassion and self care. I want you to visualize someone that you automatically have compassion for, that you automatically have empathy for. This could be a loved one. This could be a pet. 
This could be a best friend. For our purposes in this meditation, um, try to choose a neutral relationship. One where you would naturally full compassion for them if you witness them suffering in any way. And I want you to visualize that person or pet right in front of you. There they are. I'm gonna see my pet. And I'm just going to imagine that I can send love from my heart out to my person or my pet. I can send love, kindness, concern, presence, care, empathy. And using my imagination just to send them goodwill. And in my mind's eye, I'm happy to send it and they're happy to receive it. In particular, I want to notice my own heart moistening, generating this almost indescribable feeling that I have for my loved one or my pet. And now I want you to notice a time when your friend or your loved one or your pet was suffering in some way, not the worst thing that could happen to them, but maybe a disappointment or a time when they feel that they fell short. On some level, there's a disappointment. Again, not the worst thing that could happen, but something that has impact. Now I want you to envision and see your own feelings toward them. Identify your own feeling of love, compassion, your desire, heartfelt desire to mitigate their suffering. So I want you to use your imagination to send them well wishes, to energetically mitigate their suffering. And you might even repeat phrases that would help to offer them compassion. And I'll say it in a particular way 
and ask you to repeat that, but feel free to say it in your way. My wish for you is that you be free from suffering. My wish for you is that you be happy. May you be restored. May you receive my compassion and offer. Toward the end of this meditation, I want you to see your person or your pet, your friend or your family member restored. Your wish for them received. That compassion is a wish that one suffering be mitigated. And if and when you're able or so motivated, compassion also offers the opportunity for you to take action. Within this meditation, our action is the wish for a mitigation of suffering, a sending of heartfelt thoughts and engagement. It's thoughts of well being for our person or our pet. And as we come to a close of this meditation, we'll be talking about how to offer ourselves that same level of concern and compassion. What do we do when we are the one who is suffering? Are we able to be our own best friend? Are we able to wish ourselves well? That's the journey we'll be on during this session. So just sit for a moment. And I'm going to count from three to one. When I reach one, I'm going to ring the bell. And if you've had your eyes closed, ask you to open your eyes. Counting three, two, and one. So it's good sometimes to cast your eyes down first and then kind of slowly open your eyes from there. Open, open, open. Ooh. 
And in the space that you're in, just take a moment just to look around the space that you're in, kind of bring us, get us grounded back into this space. Maybe you'll see something you hadn't really looked at today. And then back to the screen. 